Yo, what's going on guys? And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a progress bar like this in Roblox Studio. All right, so the first thing we want to do is in Sarge UI, we want to make a UI for this. So I'm going to call this progress bar. And then we want to go ahead and make a frame in here. We're going to call this BG. So this is going to be the background for the um, progress bar. So we can just position this at the top of the screen, kind of. Wherever you want your progress bar to be, we can position it uh, there. Then we can change this to a darker color and then make the transparency up a little bit like that. Then we can add a UI corner to this if you want to. Set it to like 0.3 comma 0. And we'll try 0.5. Looks good. And then we want to add a new frame into here. And then we're going to rename it to bar. B-A-R like that. We're going to change the size of it to 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0. And also, I didn't, yeah, I didn't do this with this one, but you want to make sure that the, the size of the bar is on scale instead of offset. So we got that, and we can go ahead and duplicate this UI corner and put it into the bar, so that it just, you know, it's the same thing. And then you could change the color of this to whatever you want. I'm just gonna make it like a bluish color, like that. And then also, if you want an outline on your progress bar, all you need to do is add a, a UI padding into here, and then you could just change the padding on it. So we could do a point one on the bottom and the top. And then you can do like 0.02 or 0.01 on the left and the right. That's how you get an outline onto it. And then we want to add a text label into here. Change the background to be fully transparent. Make the size of it the full size. So 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0. And then we're going to change the font. A font that I like to use is for Doka 1. It's just a nice looking font. We can set, set text to scaled. Change the text color to white. Make the text stroke transparency. Uh, take that down a little bit till it looks good and then we can rename this to text and then we need to add a local script which we're going to call progress and then we need to add two number values into here but i'm going to go ahead and call one of these um max value and the other one i'm going to call current value and you can go ahead and set max value to whatever you want i'm going to set it to 100. so now in the progress script we just need to get a couple things. We need to get local bar equals script dot parent dot bg dot bar. And then we also need to get the text, which is gonna equal script dot parent dot bg dot text. Then we need to get the current number, which is gonna equal script dot parent dot current value. And we also need to get the maximum value. So max num equals script dot parent dot max value. I'll go while true do. And we want to get local bt equals time, which I'll explain this in a second. And then we're going to go task.wait. And then you want to say local bt equals time minus bt. So basically all of all that this is doing right here is getting the time in between each frame. So then we want to get the target size which can equal udem 2new current num dot value divided by max num dot value. So this right here is basically normalizing it between one and zero. So if we have a current value of 50 and our max value is 100, that means it would normalize it to 0.5 so that we can actually use it in the the sizing here. Okay, and the rest of this zero would be comma zero, comma one, comma zero. And then we want to actually set the size of the bar so we'll go so so we'll go bar dot size equals bar dot size colon lerp target size okay i did forget one variable so we're just going to go up here get local bar smooth and we'll set this to five the higher the number the faster the bar will move and it'll like more snappy it'll be the lower the number the slower and like more smoothed out it's, it'll be but five is a pretty good number so we'll go bar smooth times dt so this is where we actually use the time in between frames to actually make sure that it is displaying correctly the last thing we want to do is set the text so we'll go text dot text equals math dot floor this is just so we don't have any decimals in our display we'll go current num and dot value and then we're going to add on a little slash and then we'll go math dot floor max num dot value it's basically literally just this equation right here and that should be it for our progress bar. We hit play, we see that it's zero out of 10. 
And then if we just go to my player here and to the GUI, go to the progress bar. And if we change the current value here, like to 10, for example, you'll see it'll go up to 10. Change it to 90, it goes all the way up to 90. Um, 40, you know, so if you just change it, you just change it from there. And that's, you know, how you can change your progress bar. And then if you want to use this in your scripts, then you'd have to change probably the max value as well just to make sure that it's displaying correctly and stuff. But we can also change the max value and it'll work just the same. So we can change it to 200, change this to 150, and it'll still work the exact same. If you do go above the maximum, it will actually just go off like that. So an easy fix for that is we could just say if current num.value is greater than max num.value, then we could just say current num.value equals max num dot value there's also a link to the model in the description of this video so if you don't want to write any of this code or anything you can just grab the model straight from roblox all right that's it for this video that's how you can make a smooth progress bar in roblox studio let me know what you think and also join my roblox group and my discord with the links in the description yeah tell me what other tutorials you'd like to see and i'll see you guys in the next video